Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Editor Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to create blog pagination for your Weebly blog pages. Okay, so this video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial, of which I will post a link to in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so what is blog pagination? All right, so here is the demo site we'll be using for this tutorial. Um, this is your standard Weebly blog page. There are five blog posts total on this blog page with one blog post per page. If you scroll down, you can see Weebly's default pagination. And since we're on the first page, um, we can see the previous pagination here, which allows us, go to, allows us to go to the second page. We're on the second page, we can go to the third page, and so on and so forth. It's a very time consuming and inefficient means of traveling, uh, navigating through uh, a blog page, especially if the blog has many, many pages. Okay, so let's come up with a more efficient means of traveling through a blog page, okay? And to do that, we'll come up with a, a numbered blog page pagination system. All right, so let me show you how to get that uh, installed for you. All right, so the first thing we need to do is open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. All right, so go to the Weebly editor, okay? Go to theme at the top, and then on the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. Okay, that'll give us access to the back end here. All right, so uh, we need to add some HTML coding. So copy the HTML codes within uh, step two here. Back to the Weebly editor. Okay, on the left under partials, click on blog. Then click on pagination.tpl. On the right, select all the coding within this file. Delete it. And then paste in the HTML codes that you copied from the written tutorial. Okay. All right, step three, add CSS codes. Okay, so copy all of the CSS codes within step three here. Okay, head back to the Weebly editor. On the left, under styles, click on main.less. On the right, um, locate your blog's CSS coding. Okay, and so uh, this is where the uh, CSS coding for uh, blog pages for this theme. And I'm going to paste in the CSS codes that I copied from the written tutorial directly beneath it. Give myself a little space, paste it in there. All right. All right, so step four, we need to add some jQuery codes. Okay, so select, copy all the jQuery codes within step four here. And there are a lot of them, so make sure you get them all. Back to the Weebly editor. Go to, on the left under assets, click on custom.js. Okay, and on the first line, give yourself some space below it. Okay, and then paste in directly beneath that first line um, the codes you copied from step four. Okay, um, it's not very well organized the coding, but you can always go back and reformat that if you'd like. All right, now let's click save. And let's publish our site. Okay, so let's go back to page one of our demo site here. All right, we can see, all right. So this happens sometimes with Weebly sites. You just got to clear your browser's cache. Um, and because I'm using Windows here, I'm just going to hit Control F5. Okay, that'll go hard, uh, hard remove the browser's cache for this site. And you can see our, bl our numbered blog pagination is at the bottom here. So we are on page one of this blog, and we can see um, as by the indicator at the bottom. And then we can see we uh, from page one, we can see page two, we can see page three. Um, we can choose the next page, which would be page two, since we're on page one. And we can also go to the last page from page one, which is page five. Okay, so I'm going to go to page three and show you what that looks like. Okay, so as you can see, um, as by the indicator, the blue indicator, we were on page three. Okay, um, and from this page, the numbered pagination allows us to go back to the first page. We can go to the previous page, which would be page two, since we're on page three. We can individually choose pages, page one, two, three, which we don't have to because we're already on it, four, five. We can go to the next page, which would be page four because we're on page three, or we can choose to go to the last page, which would be page five. And there you go. All right, guys, so, so that is how you set up a numbered blog pagination for Weebly Blogs. Um, I, hope these, I hope you found this tutorial to be useful, and I will see you in the next video.